Jen Beeston. Today I want to talk to you about mortgage insurance. What is mortgage insurance? So first of all, mortgage insurance is something that absolutely does not protect you in any way. It protects the lender. So in case you stop making your payments and a foreclosure happens, it protects the lender's loan, meaning that the mortgage insurance company will make sure the lender gets paid. So the reason why lenders want mortgage insurance, if you're putting down less than 20%, is because they feel like you're higher risk, okay? So a lot of people assume mortgage insurance is crazy expensive. It's not. It really depends on your personal situation. How much are you putting down and what is your credit score, okay? So for conventional loans, the amount that someone pays in mortgage insurance can vary dramatically based off of credit score. I could have two people putting down 5%, but if someone has not great credit, they could be paying 1.4% annually, whereas someone with really good credit could be paying 0.39% annually. That's a huge difference, and that's why I think there's so many misconceptions about mortgage insurance, because everyone has a friend that's this person, okay? Now, in fairness, if you don't have good credit, there's ways to make it so you're not paying that crazy amount. Um, one of them would be FHA. If you're in a market where you could do an FHA loan instead of a conventional loan, um, and you have less than perfect credit and the mortgage insurance for the conventional loan is brutal, FHA charges the same amount no matter what your credit score is. So you could have really high credit, you could have really low credit, FHA is charging you the same, okay? Now, jumbo loans don't have monthly mortgage insurance. It's gonna be built into the rate. I'm talking more about conventional mortgages. So that's gonna vary based off of your county as well. So if you wanna know the difference between jumbo and conventional, like what's that price point, Google your county um, and then conventional loan limit and it will list it out. It varies by every single county. Some states, it's almost every county is the same, but like California is crazy. So you want to look that up. Um, and then FHA loan limit, same thing, varies by county, doesn't match the conventional. It's You, you get to Google quite a bit. So mortgage insurance is not bad. Mortgage insurance is a way to get into the market. And if you do the monthly mortgage insurance, you can get rid of it at some point, either when your loan is at 80% of what you originally paid, or if you have an appreciation in value, you can reach out to your servicer to get your mortgage insurance removed. And there are some rules with that. Um, but in my experience, I haven't had a client come to me and say, Jennifer, they won't take it off and they should. And I do a lot of loans with mortgage insurance because saving 20% is really hard. And in a lot of markets, it's not plausible because the rents are so high, they're as much as a mortgage payment. So if you're thinking about getting a house and you think, well, mortgage insurance is evil, don't go there. Just talk to a lender, see how much it really costs. The online calculators are not accurate. There's first time home buyer programs where even if you have less than perfect credit, you may get a discount on mortgage insurance. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Um, in terms of is it a write-off, you really need to talk to a tax advisor because once again, that's going to be your personal situation. Do not rely on what you find on the internet or what a mortgage lender says to you. You need to talk to a tax advisor. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, comment. Um, it's a pretty big topic, so I wanted to keep this kind of short and give you the overview, but I'm more than happy to deep dive with you if you have those questions. Thanks for watching.